how do you know faith is now here or faith has come? Faith is God speaking to you. It's a personalized word of God for you. So it gives you, it leaves you with an action to take. It gives you an assignment. It gives you action. After hearing the word of God and you feel like doing nothing, be rest assured that there is no faith that has come on that day. But faith once comes, it gives you action. After the woman with the issue of blood heard about Jesus, she said, I'm going to touch the hem of his garment and I'm going to be healed. Once when that happened, Jesus said, your faith has healed you. Your faith came after she heard about Jesus. That faith gave you action to do. So faith will give you an assignment. Faith will give you something to do. Blind but mere after he heard that Jesus passed by, he shouted. That shouting was action. And Jesus called him and he said, your faith has healed you. So after hearing the word of God, you must be full of action, you must be moving. It will never leave you stagnant. Usher you into action. That's faith. So, thank God you are here. Thank God you are listening. Thank God faith is coming. Because it has power to usher you into a new season. It has power because with faith, all things are possible. With faith, all things are possible. You might be in the world, but because of faith you are not of the world. You have another kingdom that you belong. What does that mean? It means today, this afternoon, there is a possibility for you to experience a different move of the Lord in your life that is different from the rest of the people who are in Zimbabwe. It is possible. I mean, there is room for that. There is an opportunity for that. For someone who is sitting here to have a great financial harvest in a dry land by faith. So faith is a personal revelation coming from the Lord pertaining a particular situation. What am I saying? I'm saying you might have faith as far as sickness and disease is concerned. And definitely you get yourself healed because of that revelation. So that same power of faith, if it comes along the lines of finances, definitely you have a breakthrough in finances. You might be facing any, any kind of confusion in your life. I come to tell you, faith can address that. The reason why God said the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. It's because he knows as a child of God, there are some things that you cannot change. But definitely you, will never, you cannot fail to change yourself. Change about your life, it's your personal decision. God is saying whether your land is sick, there is still room for you to experience experience good things from the father there is still room for you to live well he's saying you might be in a situation whereby we experience financial collapse in the whole world things are turning upside down there is fear and terror in the world you cannot change it but you can overcome it how or we can say you can live because what shall cause the just to live is by faith. Indeed, the just must live. Whether in a bad environment, whether things are bad, but the word is saying the just shall live. In Zimbabwe, the just shall live. Oh, even in Gweru, the just shall live. Even when you go to Kadoma, the just shall live. Bible doesn't care what is happening in Kadoma. It doesn't care what is happening in Kwekwe. It doesn't care what is happening in Zimbabwe. It is concerned whether they are. We have people who are just. They shall live. I say they shall live. They just shall live by faith. Faith doesn't need US dollars for you to get it. Faith doesn't require bond note for you to receive it. Whether registered or not registered on earth, you can still have faith. It's not complicated. God has made it simple so that all the just shall live by faith.
And faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. So the more you hear and understand, the more you live. Jesus said, Men shall not live by bread alone. You are not an accident that there is no accident which looks like you. Whether your parents have, are telling you that you, you came by accident, it's them who don't know what they are saying. They don't know how an accident looks like. Those who are not supposed to be here, they are not here. But you are existing because you are meant to be here. Everything is covered. Everything is sorted out. There is no power in this world that is able to disadvantage you. I wish the Holy Spirit will help us to unlock someone from the lies of the devil. The devil always used deception to stop you from achieving whatever belongs to you. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. What is he saying? He say in the world, there is no peace. That's what Jesus said. Amen. But whoever comes to me, he will have peace. In the world, Amen. things are tough. In the world, world is rough but God is saying you are in there but do not be conformed do not be conformed to the standard of this world do not allow the world to be in you do not allow the world to control you Control one Where does the world stay when it is with you or where, when, when, when the world is in you? In your mind. Though Moses delivered the Israelites from Egypt, it was hard for him to deliver Egypt out of them. Each time he wants to move on. They always drew them back to Egypt. If we were in Egypt, we wish if we could, we, we were in Egypt, where we were eating garlic. Praise God. Amen. The world is rough. The world condemns you. The world wants to make you feel like an idiot. The world wants you to make want to feel like you will never make it in marriage. Your marriage will never make it. The world is trying to make everything very tough. You hear the world speaking through people. Nowadays things are very tough. No one is able to help anyone. Then you know the world is now talking. And you now know the people are in the world and they are now of the world. But Jesus is saying, while least you are in the world, you are not of the world. For there is now no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to flesh but who walk according to the spirit. I still want to take someone back and say yo, First, your major breakthrough will, will not only come through the laying on of hands, it will come through the realization of where you must be going. Right way of thinking. Thinking properly. For the word say we are given a sound mind. correct. <laughs> You can think properly. Praise the Lord. Now, your steps, your steps, how you walk, will determine who you, who, you, who you are in the world or in the Lord. Those who do not walk according to flesh, 
Meaning some people Their steps are ordered by what is happening In the world Meaning we have got believers today Who are hearing the voice Of the world more than They hear the voice of God Praise the Lord Once believers lose their faith They are now good for nothing they are like salt which has lost its flavor come on I say revive your faith in the Lord you are in the world but you are not of the world come on prepare your ears to hear the sound of the voice of the Lord that's your faith that's your life yes you might miss your bread but men shall not live by bread alone those things which are controlling the world you as a child of God you are not supposed to be controlled by them you must be controlling them because we are reigning together we are reigning together with Jesus Christ some of you tend to forget who you are some of you tend to forget what are your capabilities praise the Lord Amen. I'm here to tell you there is a prophet this prophet through the spirit of God and after looking closely on what God could do with, it, with people he was strengthened to think that even if you remove the mountains and throw them in the sea we shall not be afraid we shall not be moved I'm saying to someone no matter what is happening no matter what you are experiencing I'm bringing to you the word of hope I'm bringing to you the word of faith I'm bringing to you the word of victory I'm saying when, once you change your steps you are taking on a new direction once you cease to walk like them once you cease to talk like them then you will know you are heading on a different direction because of what God has done for us let the mountains be removed and be thrown in the sea who will not be afraid because of the love God has shown to us we will never doubt what the Lord is able is capable of doing we will never doubt the promises of God uh -huh. we will never doubt what the Lord is saying to the church the world is speaking but don't forget God is also speaking and the decision is yours to choose whom you shall listen to Amen. Isaiah prophesied and said whose report shall you believe Amen. because in this world there are many reports Amen. there are many reporters there are many reports but whose report shall ye believe 